Hello and welcome to the Google Classroom demonstration for how to integrate Benchmark Universe. So the first thing I'm going to have you do is make sure that you are logged in to my.aps.edu. Sign in using your regular APS credentials. Your students need to do the same thing. So train your students to go to my.aps.edu whenever they're going to be using Google Classroom and Benchmark Universe together. From here, they can click on their Google Classroom and they can then click on the Google Classroom you have set up for them. I will click on one of mine to show you as an example. So here I am in my benchmark distance learning Google Classroom where I've created some classwork to show you how to create an assignment for students. So when you are in your Google Classroom, your students can see topics which I recommend for organizing the materials. One really great way I've seen this organized is teachers will create topics that are week one, week two, or you could create it based on the content. Those are some options. So as the teacher, I'm going to go to Benchmark Universe from my.aps.edu. Once here, I'm going to click on Benchmark Advance. And I am going to find the asset, the item that I want my students to be reading. So in grade two, unit eight, I want my students to read the story about tornadoes. Here it is, it's an ebook. And when I click on the ebook, I can preview it, it'll open in a new tab. I am not going to create a customization right now but I can see what my students will be able to use. They'll be able to read this book. They could have the book read aloud to them by pressing play. I see the sky. This is the book that I want to share with my class. So going back to our Benchmark Universe tab, I want to click on this little gear and select Create Link for Direct Access. I'm going to copy this link. It is now copied, and this is the link I will share in my Google Classroom. So coming back to my Google Classroom, I'm in the Classwork tab, and I'm going to create a new assignment for my students. I want them to read and respond to Tornado. Oops. Read the e-book tornado and respond to the story using the Google form. I'm going to add first a link and I'm going to paste. So earlier I copied this link for the book. And now I'm going to paste it and add the link. I'm also going to add a form that I created from my Google Drive. Here we go. That the students can respond to. So now coming over to my settings, this is important. We want our points to be ungraded right now. We're not collecting grades. And right now the default is not to have a due date, but I could say that this is for next week and I want it to be due on Friday. And I could include a time, midnight for example. Um, and then I could say what my topic is. This is changes to earth, but I could also change, create a new topic. I could say that this is for week three. Um, and then I can also, instead of pressing assign when I'm all done, I can schedule it. So since this is for next week, I'm going to schedule it to go out on Monday. So that students will only see it at 8 a.m. on Monday and they won't see it before. So I've scheduled my assignment and it's gray showing it has not yet gone out to my students. But once it is live for my students, it will change to purple. You will notice that assignments are a clipboard but materials I share with my students are going to be a bookmark. If you would like to see what this looks like from the student perspective, go ahead and join this Google Classroom and you can click on the assignments. All right, thank you and good luck.